Can you believe people are still smoking inside in Portugal? But this is the dish you must try if you're coming into Porto. I heard about this country when I was just a small kid back in Asia. And I remember during football World Cup, me cheering up in support for Portugal. Not because I like football, but I was rather curious about this country's lifestyle and society. I used to wonder how it looks like, what they eat. It must be a different world than Asia. My mind was full of curiosity to know about the world. The curious mind of child. Since then, I had a dream to see Portugal. Then I started growing up, those curiosities and excitements slowly started to fade away. I became more serious about life. Until now, I finally got a chance to make my childhood dream into reality. And I know it, this is not the right season to travel, but still I am super excited to explore around the country. So let's begin exploring this beautiful northwest coastal city of Portugal. This guy here just right behind me bought these things for me. This is how you peel and bite. Porto. I know most of you are familiar with the city because of its iconic metal bridge and port wine. But its stunning cityscape view by Douro River is equally mesmerizing and I promise you cannot resist its magical view. Unfortunately, this is winter season and I guess the good weather is what I am gonna miss out badly. Okay, I am fully wet and right now I am saving myself in this bus stop. As you can see right behind me, the weather is super crap. It's raining all day. I mean, it's heavy rain. Just look at the weather. Just look at the weather here. How heavy rain this is. Just look around. I am kind of hungry and I just met these two lovely people here and then we are going to eat uh, some traditional food of Portugal. So let's see if we can find something interesting. Every country or culture got its traditional food. Therefore, I am going to try some local foods and Porto's famous signature food Francesina. So basically it's a f uh, classic French sandwich but a little bit twisted. The whole idea is it's filled up with uh, four or five different types of meats covered with the cheese and uh, drawn in sauce. The secret is sauce. Nobody knows the recipe the behind the sauce because all the chef has their own way of making a sauce. But this is the dish you must try if you're coming into Porto. You are a first time eater so what do you say about the Francesina? I don't like very spicy. It's not uh, good uh, health. It's not 100%. Uh, uh, it's not 100% main course. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is true. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. It's not delicious. It's interesting, but not delicious. It's my opinion. You are in Porto, and if you do not drink a port wine, I think that would be totally unfair. So I am drinking this port 
wine and uh, this is given by a friend of mine here right here he offered me his wine to us so I'm just enjoying this one right now it, uh, it tastes really good but one thing that bothered me the most here in Portugal was people smoking inside restaurants and bars it was uncomfortable for a non-smoker people like me in theory restaurants and bars in Portugal must have detached ventilated and labeled smoking areas in practice though the smoking ban isn't thoroughly enforced I hope it would change soon to make a pleasant experience for everyone so back in the time they used to use these boats to transport wine by the river they are not in use anymore because of trains and uh, other medium of transportation but still they keep it here because it looks really nice and this is very classic to be honest I like it even though it's my very first time in this city but I feel welcome and I had an incredible experience of meeting new people in this city now I am super excited to explore Lisbon and further south parts of Portugal I believe curiosity is really necessary in our life because it leads us to discover something greater we have never experienced before and that experience might help us to find our soul. This is it guys, I had an incredible few days here in Porto, so until the next one, obrigado, verbo sedin, nodo. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and turn on the notification bell to see more places around the world. Interesting fact about this breeze is that this is made by the same guy who made the Eiffel Tower.